one extraordinary man has bettered the lives of tens of thousands of people over a period of 45 years. It is indeed an achievement to be celebrated. He came into my life at a pretty radical time. I was 12 years old and I decided um, that I'd had enough of life, I guess. If I was to live in Toronto, I'd, I'd, I'd be dead, I'd for sure, for sure about that. I learned the dynamics, the pain, and the needs that foster kids have. And I have no regrets from sharing my house, other than my parents never learned the concept that when you have six kids at the dinner table, one chicken doesn't get it. So there's a lot of competition. <laughs> Mary and I were swept out of our own organization, and I cried and I cried. I cried for a couple hours in this guy's living room. We wanted to get away. We had to get away. So we came to New Zealand. We got very excited about New Zealand as a country and a place that we thought our children would enjoy growing up. I had no idea even where New Zealand was. I can remember it you know, going and finding a globe at school and flipping it around, and it was this, like, tiny little island in the middle of nowhere, and I went out of their minds. The worm was right above his head and the antenna snapped and the worm said, hey kid, I like your style. I love it when you cheat at school. I love it when you're so stressed you feel like a tomato about to explode. I would just continue if I could. But I'm ill and I have to address my illness and I, I, I have a stage four diagnosis of a very serious sort of uh, illness. At the end of the journey, there will be some of you that will be in control of your own life. Everybody likes a good story, and I'm a storyteller, and I just tell stories that are embedded in those stories are lessons in life.